Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT Canvas. We're going to be using one example, but first you need to make sure that you're on ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. And here in the input field, we're going to make a task. Here we're asking, can you start a draft for an email introducing myself as a client? We're going to click on send. Now we can see a result. On the left, you're going to see your message with a blob of the response with a more elaborate version on the right side. And then it says, let me know if this captures the tone you're going for, or if you'd like me to adjust anything. Of course, you could ask it to adjust anything here, or you can go over to the text which it has provided and edit it. For example, you could highlight it and you could click on bold to make it bolder. You could also increase the heading. For example, when we click on it, you have heading one, heading two, three, and the body. So this looks small. We're going to change it to heading one. And now you can see that it has been changed to a heading one font. Of course, we could make some edits here. And now we've just changed the heading subject introduction, Terry content creator. And here you could put the client's name and with the feature of canvas, you can edit the result live here on ChatGPT for with canvas. Another thing you could do is to select this by highlighting it. And then you have ask GPT. So you could click on this and you have the option to edit or explain. So if we say explain, so here it explains why to use the term dear. As it says, dear is a salutation used at the beginning of an email to address the recipient personally. Of course, we know this, but this is just to show you what you can do and how you can use ChatGPT Canvas. You could also go ahead and write something as you wish to add to what is already written. Now we have another cool feature here at the bottom right corner where we have suggest edits. It looks like a pencil. So when you hover over it, you have some other options. You have add emojis, add final polish, reading level, adjust the length, and you could add suggest edit. So here, if we want to add emojis, we could click on it and click again. And there we have something different in style. We could come over here again and click on add final polish, click again and you have it updated with a final polish. So these are a few ways we can use ChatGPT Canvas. 